All I've been doing is sitting home and uh, wore out the couch, had to go buy a new couch. When the pandemic hit, Ronnie Berry wore took a out. break, but not for long. So we did, we closed our doors right away. Now it's been two months that we've been curbside pickup only. Nobody comes in the shop. I have a very close friend of mine that, that is in the hospital right now and I pray for him every day. And, and I have uh, my son's father-in-law that's in the hospital and he's getting better. You know, uh, they've been there for over five weeks on a ventilator. So honestly, that's when it hit down to earth. That's when it hits home. You know, when you have close people you know that are in there. And we already lost two of my customers that have passed away from the cor coronavirus. Stuck inside, people still have to eat. Ronnie Berry's Halal Meats has been busy, although the profit margin is down with beef prices going way up. I don't know if it's going to stay the same or what's going to happen down the road. Nobody knows. That's the thing. You know, the, the, the governor has put the clamps on us for a while, but thank God we got a business that we can keep open. You know, I feel sorry for the restaurant people, people like that, that, that can't open their shops. Not too long ago, one Detroit's Nolan Finley took a tour of Dearborn's South End neighborhood with Hassan Khalifa of the Arab American News. You know, ethnic families like shopping at stores and, and markets that cater to their own needs and, and cultural tastes. So they don't like usually to go shop at Meyer, for example, or, or Walmart. Their first stop, the butcher's shop at Dixon Verner. And from the walls, it looks like you might be serving some wild game. Or yeah, I, I, I hunt. <laughs> I, I hunt. It's a hobby, something you like to do. Get a little getaway, you know. So how long have you had this shop? This, this shop has been here since 1947. You grew up in this shop? Though. Yeah, I grew up in this shop. Went to Salina School, Henry Ford College, uh, Fortson High School, mm -hmm. the whole routine, you know. Oh, yeah, this was the original, uh, I guess you could say, where all the Muslims came in the beginning before Dearborn really got started. Well, originally this area was big time Lebanese. Back in the early 50s, the first Islamic center in Detroit was, a, was the Hashmi Hall Society, which was on the corner right there. That was the first, first Islamic center. Then the Baca Valley Islamic center. But this is the area that everybody started here because of Ford Motor. They were able to walk from here to work. My grandfather worked for $5 a day. My grandfather came here in 1928. Construction of the Ford Rouge complex had just been completed when Barry's grandfather arrived. Arab immigrants settled in the South End. The Union Hall's across the street, the Salina School still behind it. Some things have stayed, other things have changed. You know, uh, since the, my, my boys, the technology guys, put us on Google and Yelp and stuff, <laughs> where we're getting a lot of people that we never seen before. Mm -hmm. And we asked them and they told us, well, I found you on Google and we get a five-star review, you know? Okay. And, and everything we do is like an old-fashioned shop. That's the way it's always been here. We get everybody come here. They're, they're not, not necessarily just Muslims. We have Christians, we have, we have all different types of cultures that come here. Anybody that eats lamb, basically, know us, you know? And, and there are stories like my story, like my dad's story. They all came here at a certain time and brought their families over. You know, my dad came here first, brought his brothers, brought his family, brought his sisters. Like everybody in this country. Who's the true American? True American is the Indian. That's the true American. So how, how the demographics changed? You know, are there more Yemeni Americans? Uh, in this area, yeah. yeah. We got a lot of uh, Pakistani in this area, mostly Yemeni American because of the mosque. They like to stay in walking distance of the mosque. And if, if you go down where I, I used to play ball in Canterbury Park, they just built five homes at the old park. They're building here to stay here. You know, if you went to West Dearborn or, or East Dearborn back in the 60s, it was a ghost town. There was nobody there, you know. Then they, everybody went there and they went to Dearborn Heights. Now they're going out to Garden City, Canton, you know. More halal food throughout the metro area. Back where it started, Ronnie Berry's renovating, getting ready for customers to come back inside, adding plexiglass barriers and other things to keep everybody safe. Because I'm, I'm happy for what I have, to be honest with you. I don't want to get too big where you can't control anything. Here, I got a nice little shop. I control it. You know, my sons will take it over. Give me my health and you can have the money. That's the way it is, honestly. Give me my health 
and you can have all the money. 